Greetings. Today is December 25th, 2022. Christmas. All you guys out there celebrating, happy holidays, you know. Hope your holidays was eventful. Um, as far as my previous video, I want to give a shout out to everybody that responded to that video of the my last McFarlane video. Um, I, I really appreciate a lot of love and support uh, coming from that video. But in this video, we are going to go over the top 10 McFarlane action figures of 2022. And starting off, we have Blue Beetle and Booster Gold. Now, this was a two-pack that was released in about the summertime. Uh, it really didn't hit the shelves until probably September, sometime October. But I ended up picking this two-pack up because, I mean, it's Booster Gold. I, I can't believe that Todd gave us a Booster Gold so soon, you know. I know he's been giving us different variations of, you know, other action figures and other characters. But Booster Gold and Blue Beetle... The classic versions, I mean, even the packaging that it came in was awesome. It also gave you the little bug flying drone. It gave you a whole setup layout of like a futuristic city. Very, 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 very nice background and very, very good packaging. So, and the artwork was awesome in the back too. So if you see this, pick this up. This is one of my recommendations of the top 10, coming in at number 10. Next up, we have a real, <laughs> I mean, badass... You know what I'm saying? Green Lantern. I really like this figure. Parallax. Um, it was very difficult to find this guy. I'm going to tell you right now. Like, I searched Walmarts all over. And sadly, I was on vacation at the time. So, like, the area I was in really didn't have a lot of Walmarts in, you know, the vicinity. So, I had to resort to eBay to get this guy. But I'm glad I got him. He's an awesome figure. If you know the storyline of Parallax, you know what he does to the Green Lantern Corps. It's a good figure to have. Uh, maybe this is like the second time this figure has actually been in a DC line. I'm not for sure. But, uh, yeah. Coming in at number nine, it's Parallax, Green Lantern. Coming in at number eight, we have Adam Smasher. Now, I'm doubling up on this because this particular guy right here came in the regular release of the Wave. You didn't have to build anything on it. There was no bath or nothing. This was just standard, you know, figures that you can buy off the shelf. And also his giant transformation size. I really like that Todd did that. He didn't have to, but it's accurate enough to the comic. Only thing is, is that his sleeves are pretty much exposed. But other than that, this is an awesome figure to have. And you know, just so you just so you know, you can just buy them his giant size for affordable, reasonable price. I think right now it's still on sale. So you can actually pick both of these guys up. I really like the Black Adam movie a lot. I thought it was really, really, you know, really good. Rock did his thing. His his uh, supporting characters also did his thing. Um, really didn't know a lot about Adam Smasher until I looked it up. He's an actually a pretty cool character, you know. I think the suit he has comes from his dad or something. But overall, you know, Justice League Society, this figure is a must-have in your collection. Aside from, you know, the, the DC Universe movie side... I still think this is an awesome pickup, depending on where James Gunn goes with the whole DC universe and the movies. I still think this is a very highly detailed character to own a collection. So coming at number eight is Adam Smasher. Both Adam Smashers, because you can't have one without the other. Coming in at number seven, we have another exclusive, which is Azrael Batman, a Walmart exclusive. I hunted this figure down I think throughout the entire summer uh, certain stores were clearing them out early because I guess they didn't know that this was going to be an actual release this particular one I actually customized myself I actually shined him up a bit you know painted his claws and everything I still have another one on you know on card but uh yeah this is Azrael Batman if you know anything about Valley you know that you know Gene is a he's a really big he's a tough dude you know what I'm saying in the other comics that came out later after Nightfall you've come to find out that he did keep Batman alive but only by his brain it's really really gruesome to see what this particular character is uh, doing as far as street justice is concerned I mean pretty much just crippled Gotham he thought he was saving it but he really just crippled it he wasn't really a good Batman but overall this outfit is iconic 
to the Nightfall series and I definitely had to get them. So Nightfall Batman, Azrael Batman coming in at number seven. Okay, so this next one is kind of interesting because we got this gold variant of Wonder Woman from the Dark Knight Metal series. And I was actually surprised that Todd would give us this next character I'm about to show you coming in at number six. But overall, I'm glad he did it. You know, uh, if you know the Dark Knight Metal storyline, you know that the climactic battle with this particular Wonder Woman that's a gold variant. It ain't just a gold variant like it's just painted all gold. No, this is an actual character that's actually in the comics. And the climactic battle that she has is with the dark entity Batman who laughs. Coming in at number six. Um, very, very happy to get this guy. You only need four figures to actually build him up, which is awesome, Todd. Thank you very much. You know, a lot of other toy lines i ain't gonna say their names but you know who they are you gotta buy eight characters just to build the entire character you only need a four for this guy but i'm glad he gave it to us i'm happy that he gave him to us i actually was shocked when i saw it because i had just made a mention on twitter like yo man you know todd you're gonna give us the you know that final battle you know uh batman who laughs and boom there you go he just he just released it. He has articulated mouth and everything. You know what I'm saying? All pale white inside. This is like the demonic entity of what the uh, Batman who laughs is. Like This is just his full demonic form. And it's awesome. He's towering over a lot of other characters. He's big. He's lanky. Just like in the comic. But uh, yeah. Coming to number six, we have the dark... I mean, Batman who laughs, his dark entity. Coming in at number five, we have Superwoman. Yup, we have Superwoman. And not for nothing, this was a Target exclusive, but what I like about it is just the design of it and everything. I mean, this woman has legs. You know what I'm saying? Once scared to actually release it, he released it exactly how it is in the comic. There are other costumes that she does wear, but this is the most revealing. And for the customizers out there, y'all already know, you know, Todd actually makes all his figures the same, you know, a little heat and hot water. You could pop these off and actually make your own custom figure. But I just like the fact that he gave us this particular uh, Superwoman. Um, this is from the Crime Syndicate uh, team. We also have the other team members that, is, that he released as well. It took a long time to actually build that up, but I'm kind of glad that he actually gave us this particular variation of Superwoman. So this is Superwoman coming in at number five. Now, in this particular part, we're going to stop the count real quick. I just want to just give some honorable mentions. You know, this particular character right here was cool. Really didn't know about him. Really didn't know about him. Glad we got him. He came with two swords and everything. I think it's Ghostmaker. His cape. Two swords, ninja outfit, armor. His his articulation is done very well too. So, you know, if you don't know the story, pretty much I'll give you a backdrop of it. Uh this is someone who trained with Bruce Wayne when he was younger, and he actually got really, really nice with his techniques and styles, where he actually came to Gotham to actually test Bruce Wayne. And he also knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman. Spoiler. But overall, this is an awesome figure. You know, like I said, Todd makes figures, man, that we haven't even got yet. And I'm glad that he's actually stepping into the modern comics and actually giving us certain characters, design and all, new sculpts and everything. You cannot reuse this sculpt for nothing, but, you know, I'm glad he gave them to us. Next up, we have another honorable mention, the Batman Who Laughs. Yeah, this is the first variation of the Batman Who Laughs. And if you read the story, you know that this is a murderous... This is a murderous dude. What he did to the Bat family in that, you know, climax of events, bro, is brutal. But this is, yeah, this is the Batman Who Laughs. You know the Batman of the Batman Who Laughs of the first variations of the other variations of him, but this is exactly what he turns into. I mean, what he did to Superman and his, his family, what he did to his own Bat family, this dude is evil as sin. And I, honorable mention... He wasn't him. He didn't make the list, but I'm glad he gave it to us. And I'm, I'm glad Todd is actually edging out all of those um, Batman Who Laughs characters. It's really good. 
But yeah, another honorable mention. And for our final honorable mention, we have Death Storm. Now, Death Storm, I mean, this sculpt, man, <laughs> he didn't make the list, but I mean, that head sculpt on that skull and that flaming head is truly some unique work. I, you can't, I don't even think you could use this for any other sculpt. You really can't. But he literally customized this entire figure all from fresh new sculpt. And once again, you know, Todd really rarely uses, he, he rarely uses the same body sculpts, but looking at this figure, you know this is a one and done. You know, he came with the lantern, the dark lantern, the black ring lantern. His head sculpt is just translucent and amazing. So this is another honorable mention, Deathstorm. Okay, coming in at number four, we have Atrocitus. Yes, Atrocitus. This dude stands tall. He was part of a builder figure wave. He only needed four figures to build up that wave. But when you did, boy, you got this mountain beast of a villain. This character uh, was pretty much based off of the artwork from Ethan Van Skyver. Um... He actually designed this character. He created this character. This is technically his character. Um, he's also a comic book creator himself. He's an independent comic creator. Shout outs to Comics Gate. You know, he got the Cyber Frog going. Go check that out. Uh, a lot of other independent artists are on there. But yeah, this is his character. Yeah. So if you didn't know that, uh, EVS, Ethan Van Skyver, this is his character, Atrocitus. If you like Atrocitus in the video games, if you like Atrocitus in the character, that's the man that you should, you know, thank because, I mean, you already know, if you know the history of Atrocitus, you know how badass he is. This is a bad dude, but I'm glad he gave him to us. He also gave us, Tom Fowler also gave us Batrocitus, you know what I'm saying, we came with a red lantern. So, if you have this guy, you also want that lantern, and you also want Batrocitus from that um, line. But, yeah, coming in at number four, we have Atrocitus. Next up, coming up at number three. Now, obviously, we already got, you know, this particular character, Black Adam, before in the Winter Wave. But another Walmart exclusive. <laughs> and luckily, I just got re I just recently found this guy, and I'm happy to add him to the collection. There was three sitting on the shelf. They were all clearanced out, you know what I'm saying, at Walmart during during Christmas Eve and I'm so happy I found him and I didn't have to break the bank just to go on eBay to find this guy now I know the movie is coming out but we have Shazam the comic book version of Shazam what's cool about Shazam is I also like his artwork his artwork on the back he just got him sitting there eating an apple which is awesome you know um yeah but this particular figure I wanted the comic book version I was gonna go ahead and just say you know screw it and just get the movie version that's coming out but I'm kind of glad that I held out, you know, and just hope to God I found it on the shelf in Walmart. And think, good luck, I did. But yeah, I'm so happy that I have this guy. He came with two sets of hands, splayed hands. He came with special effects for his powers. You know, very awesome figure. It's actually based off the same scope as the Black Adam we got. And I'm glad that they got matching outfits because this is technically Shazam's you know, costume in the comics, which is really cool. He has the hood on the back. You know what I'm saying? They decided they sculpted the hood on the back, which is awesome. I think the movie one doesn't have the hood anymore, but this one does. So if you're out and about or you happen to see it or you actually get lucky and find it in Walmart, I would suggest you pick this up. Coming in at number three, we have Shazam, along with my Black Adam. I can't wait to pose these guys and have them, you know, fight dioramas. But yeah, coming in at number three. Okay, you knew he was coming. You knew he was coming. Coming in at number two, we have Bane. Now, we did get a Bane before in the last night on Earth. But this is the Bane that everybody was looking for. Around the time when this was released, I know Mafex got their Bane coming out, you know? But Ta gave us a Mega Fig. I don't know if he calls them Mega Figs. But he gave us a Mega Fig of Bane. And... This dude is massive. I went directly on McFarlane Toys website. Shout out to McFarlane Toys. Customer service is great. You know what I'm saying? When I ordered this, I was kind of skeptical I was going to get it. I heard a lot of people, you know, who pre-ordered it wasn't getting theirs or some were. And it was just a whole big jumbled mess in it. But the customer service worked everything out. I ended up getting mines on time as shipped and scheduled. You pay a little, you pay that premium. But to me, this bang was worth it. 
after I had just found Nightfall, Batman, Asriel. And I needed, I needed the Bane. Um, this Bane keeps getting sold out. I mean, you know, good luck in finding them. I hope they make more. You could probably go on the website or you could probably go check Amazon to see if they have any. But I haven't seen it since. I, only, I haven't even seen it in the store. So this guy is moving. I mean, as big as he is, it's the only thing that holds this figure back is they didn't have swappable hands with the fist. But there's a good customizer. I can't think of his name right now, but he know who he is. You can check him out, and this dude customizes fists where you can actually place on here. Um, I didn't get a chance to paint mine yet. I got them unpainted, but he sells them painted and unpainted. But overall, this still is a good figure. I mean, coming in at number two, this is Bane. This is the Bane that everybody wanted. The big, beefy dude Bane. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this figure. Um... I think this figure is going to be posed a lot and a lot of it's going to be definitely in a lot of people's collections in the due time. But uh, yeah, coming in at number two, we have Bane from McFarlane Toys Top 10 of 2022. Now, if you watched it this far, I just want to just say thanks, everyone, from, um, you know, watching this. And like I said, everybody that commented on my last video, it's much appreciated. The love was felt. But coming in at number one. And I'm pretty sure some people say, well, damn, he didn't put Bane number one. He didn't put Deathstroke number one. This particular figure <laughs> took a year to build up, okay? You only needed four figures to build this particular character I'm about to show. But what's so cool about it is that not only was it in the movie, you know, it was in the Suicide Squad 2 movie. I think you already know who it is. It's Starro. Yes, Starro. This dude, Starro, every time you bought a figure, you got these little, these little, you know, the small baby ones. But overall, the paint was awesome. The eyes are awesome. The detail is awesome. Has bendy wire all in the in the tentacles and everything. This is my number one figure of McFarlane Toys. So good that I had to actually double up and get another one. I just wanted another Starro. This thing is massive. It's huge. And the tendrils that the, the little baby ones that it comes with, you could put this on multiple DC figures. The possibilities are endless with these little guys. I mean, if you look at the eye work that he put in it, they actually look like they, I mean, look at that. Like they looking around. That's what was so amazing to me. To finish this particular bath was a joy to me. You know, if you know the history of Starro, you know he floated around in space for years and he just started just taking over planets. But this right here is the, this dude is the baddest dude because he could take over any of your collection. They work for him now. He's the boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Coming to number one, we have Starro. And that concludes my top 10 McFarlane toys of 2022. Hope you like my list. Tell me what you think. If you have your top 10 of this year, we'd we'll love to hear it. We'd we'll love to see it. Um, but yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll make another video in the future. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. And until we meet again, peace.